Hello everyone, Welcher here and welcome back to a brand new series actually, Wel welcome to a brand new series. Um, I am. I finally decided I'm going to do it, I'm going to do a FIFA manager mode career. Um, shout out to Bashi, uh, Bashi Games, um, I'll have his link in the description. Obviously he wasn't the first one to do this sort of thing, <laughs> they're done millions of times. But I was watching his, he's a good friend of mine, I was watching his um, new FIFA series where he's the manager of West Ham and... I really enjoyed it and I thought it's something I could do. I think I'd enjoy doing it and it'd get me back into FIFA because I don't play it. Um, but I love football and I love gaming. It's my two passions and I thought it just makes sense to do FIFA. They both in one. Um, but I'm going to be boring and be Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal fan and I go to as many games as I possibly can and it's just I want to try and be Arsenal and try and actually make them win the league without choking at the end so that's basically my my reasons um european competition first season yeah boy um press x to completely initial random draw yeah press x again to draw see the teams that get more realistic but yeah we're not having newcastle in the fucking champions league okay look at that look at that group jesus christ barcelona Shakhtar, and Bayer leverkusen We'll take it. I'm not going to be able to fiddle around with it. We're just going to have to beat Barcelona. It's fine with me. Um, we're going to go professional because I haven't. I don't play this game much, and I probably will struggle in professional. Um, if if it comes to it and I'm just too easy, I will up the uh, difficulty. Five minutes to halves. Uh, oh shit! Did I press the wrong button. No, it's okay. Oh, advance at the top. Right, I've said no to friendly tournaments just because they're a bit boring for you guys to watch. I think. Um, we just want to go crack on straight into the season where the matches matter. Um, what I like to do straight away, we'll go to the office quickly and have a look. Right, they want us to win the cup. Fantastic. Um, transfer market, whatever. We should look for an attacking midfielder because Arsenal haven't got enough attacking midfielders, you know. Um, it's not like we need a centre back or a fucking defensive mid or anything. We'll go for attacking mid. Um, first scout port revived. Arrived. Juice and myself. Ozil was injured. Fantastic. Brilliant news. One of our best players injured already. Right, they want. La, 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 la. Will we to win the league title? Of course we can do that. Hmm. Well, the Royal Arsenal can't, can they? So, yeah, what I, I was going to say. What I'll like. Oh, let's have a look at our. I didn't even ask for these players, man. These look shit. Musa Dembele is 18. I didn't actually realise that. Damn. You can scout him then. You can scout John Stones. And you can scout Ross Barkley for sure. They're, they're players I, I would definitely be interested in. Nice work. Great. Um, yeah, but what I like to do first is sell the players I don't want or don't need anymore. Um, and I normally base it on age. So if I go to my oldest players, yeah, players like Rosiski, retiring at a contract end, we'll keep him then. Arteta, you are well out of my team. One of the players, one of the players I dislike the most in the Arsenal team. Add to transfer list. See you later, son. Um, Percheck, you are not going anywhere. Flamini, you're out as well. Murasaki, you are very much out of the team. Because all I'm going to keep you, or should I get rid of you? I don't know. Debushi, you're out. Recall from, we've loaned him out. Have we? I think we have. Um, Giroud, I think I'm going to get rid of Giroud, you know. I don't really want him. He's not part of my plans. Um, Sanchez, you are staying. Um... And a few other players like Gabriel, you can. Oh, I'll keep you for now. In case I can't bring anyone in. El Nenny, what a boy. I love El Nenny. It will be. Cool. Um, so that's the general players I really want to get rid of. So look at the squad. If I can just make a quick lineup here. Um, I, my lineup will be a 4 3 3. An attacking one. Yep, that one. With Urza will not be there. 
Sanchez is left wing, so is he left foot? He's right foot, isn't he? He's right foot with a bad weak foot, so he's going to go on the left wing. Giroud up front, well, Welbeck will be up front. Giroud won't be playing. Giroud will be replaced. <sighs> Shit, where's Wobi going to play? <laughs> I don't, he's not a striker, man. He's more of an attacking mid. You're calling him a striker, right wing, left wing. Oh, man. Well, he's just not going to be a starter then. Um, Mertesacker, get out of there. Gabriel for now. That's right. So, <laughs> Ospina. Nice joke. Where's check? Cool, so that would... Where's Monreal? Although Monreal's a bit... Getting old, but... Right, so that would be my strongest... Team right now. How old are any? Okay, so he's... 22. How old's Coquelin? 24. Bellerin's twenty, mate. What a what a what a player. Um, okay, so from looking at this, I don't want this video to go on too long, so I'm gonna like cut this out. But I think I want a really strong centre defensive mid and a centre back and maybe a right winger. Right, so a few of our reports have come in. Rico Henry is sixty four eighteen. Or he's a 72 at 19. Different positions, I must add, but... A 72 at 19 is pretty solid, isn't it? Centre-back. From Chelsea. Could be, could be pretty decent. Moussa Dembele is a 66 at 18. Nah, that's not good enough for me, mate. You're out. And again, for you, Rico Henry, it's just going to be a no from me. John Stones is a 77 at 21. Considering Matt Mizaga's better already... No, he's not. That's a complete lie. It's five worse. There's only two age gaps. Two age, two age years difference. Could he grow five ranks in two years? Ross Barkley's an 80 at the young age of 21. I'm very tempted to try and get him, but he's just not going to fit in because Ozil's there, you know what I mean? Like, And we've got Wilshire and Ramsey and fucking everybody. I forgot about Ramsey. Ryan Kent, I'm not even scouting you. You don't even look that good. You play for Liverpool, nah. I thought I already said no to you. Rolando Ahrens. I'll scout you because I've heard a lot of good things about you. But... You don't look that good. I said I'll scout you, but you don't look great. Damari Gray, nah. Adam Traore. We'll scout you, mate. Because I think you're decent. Jordan Ibe will scout you anyway. Ryan Fraser from Ipswich. No, you're 21 and play for Ipswich. I doubt it. Nathan Redmond. No thanks. Okay, so we've got a few more there to be scouted. Right now, I'm not going to bid for any of them. Um, final score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am quiet for Pogba. And they have asked for almost 70 million. <laughs> so that might not happen. Rafael Varane, they've asked for almost 30 million. Jesus fucking Christ. Basically, I, w I want these young players, like the ones I'm scouting. But I also need an experienced, massive, big sign-in, like Pogba and Varane. They, that would, that, my team would then all of a sudden just be, boom. Would win the league without hesitation. We're close to selling Mertesack to Bayern Munich. And, oh, there you go, player sold. And Giroud to, guess who? Crystal Bloody Palace. Um, so that'll be interesting. Yannick Sarkarasko. Got a scout report on him. Oh, okay. 78 at 21. It's not bad. I'm not scouting you. I'm going to scout you, but you look okay. You're not done yet. You're 73 at 19. Well, Munir, you're definitely a no then, aren't you? Bakali, what have you... 78 at... 78 at 21. 76 at 19. That's solid. 
Balance 92, Acceleration 91. Just, Jesus, man, he might be the one. Inquire. I'm going to keep you there, Yannick. In case I can't get um, um, the other one. Play us old. Giroud has gone to Crystal Palace for 13.5 million. Mursak has gone to Bayern Munich for 10.5 million. Thank God we got rid of them. Um, cool, so what's our budget now? 70 million. We can afford Pogba. If I increase the transfer budget a bit more, then hopefully, sell a few more players, we might be able to get um, Varane as well. But I'm going to make this bid for Pogba. I'm going to do it because that would be a huge signing. But what I'm going to do is actually make it like 50 million, 49 and a half million, and add someone. Um, I'm tempted to give him Fear Walker, you know. Flamini, go on. Take Flamini. Be a geezer. Just take him off my hands. I won't. Uh, I will bid for Varane and do the same sort of thing. 17 million. And you can have. Um, who can you have? You can have Callum Chambers. <laughs> no, you, it, you can have. Um, can have Gabriel. A straight swap for Gabriel. That's not a bad deal. I, you know what? I'm taking 15 million for that. Okay, guys, look at my team. Paul Pogba. I trade, I got him. I had to increase the uh, transfer some a bit. Look, Flamini's gone to Juventus, and so we've got Pogba. Um, obviously, with a lot of money as well. And we've also got Rafael Varane at centre back with Gabriel. was pissed off. So I am a lot happier now with my team. Um, maybe the right wing position, but then I just realised I still have... Um, a Wilshire might be going as well, by the way, to Inter Milan for 20 million. In this team, I don't really see a place for him. Um, unfortunately, I love Wilshire so much, but I, w I don't mind if he goes, um, basically. But yeah, as I was saying, I forgot that I still have Oleg Saxley Chamberlain. I think it's actually, yeah, he's 21. So he's going to be my right winger. And I might just try and make him better rather than get someone new. And I've got a Woby on the bench, Campbell on the bench, Elneny on the bench, Gibbs on the bench. Who the hell Malin is? I, 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 oh, I need a striker. Oh, shit. Okay, shit, I'm in trouble there. Um, Kazola's going to go on the bench because he's a quality player. Um, defenders on the bench... When you look at it, my my um, I've got a lot of good players that aren't getting into the team here. Ramsey needs to go there, and uh, I hate to say it, but Camp Walcott should be there just because of pace. But I'm not gonna, I might have to get rid of Walcott. You know, I need a bit of a stronger bench. If I could like, if I can get a new striker, but right now that team's looking good. A little bit of a weak bench. Um, but it could be a lot worse. Um, I've inquired for a few other players. That that, that Bacali or someone who's like mega good. Couldn't get him. See, a lot of these players have just joined their clubs and you can't get them. Like him, he was decent. 74 at 19. We can't even afford him now anyway. We're waiting to sell someone else. So if we go to our... Uh, um, who we sell him? Transfer listed. The only player we've got left transfer listed is um. Jesus, we learned a lot of players out. Is Arteta right now? Do we keep Ram? Do we keep Ramsey? Yeah, we keep Ramsey. He's only eight. He's only twenty-four. I guess it's not bad. Um, I think I might get rid of Walcott. Twenty-six. He's an eighty-one. I don't think we need Walker. I'm going to get rid of him. Transfer list. And then maybe that'll give us some money to get a few decent players in. And it looks like oh, we've got our first interview coming up, which means the first game's coming up of the season. It doesn't look like Oz is going to be fit in time. Inter, transfer offer. We've reviewed your asking price 
Oh shit, they've gone ahead with a 20 mil for Jack Wilshere. Well, Jack Wilshere could be on his way out. Transfer offer for Danny Welbeck is going to have to be a lot. He's 24, he's only 79. Damn, I didn't realise he was 24. Look, if you give me 20, 20 mil, Stoke, I'll have no strikers, but you can have him. If you can give me that much money, you can have Danny Welbeck. Because I'm confident I can find someone else with Wilshere's money as well. You found all you can in Germany, that's fine. Right, Stoke have offered me 18 million and I'm going to say no. One big reason for that is because talks have broken down between Wilshere and Inter Milan because he doesn't want to move. So, I was thinking 20 million, 20, that's 40 million. But now I'd only be up to 20 million with this, so that's not enough to get a world-class striker. So we're going to keep both of them. End of. We've got the Community Shield coming up against Chelsea. Um, so... I will have this at the end of this, 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 this episode. Hopefully it won't be too long this episode. Um, it will be to edit. <laughs> but hopefully it's not too long for you. And all the other episodes won't be this long, of course, because there won't be any transfer stuff. Okay, so we're about to play the Community Shield. Um, I was actually at this game this year. I was at Wembley watching this when we won 1-0. Thanks to Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who is starting this game. So there's my team for this match. Ozil is injured. Sanchez has just got back from uh, Chile. Um, which he did win in real life. I don't know if he won the Copa America in real life on, on this game or not. Um, he didn't actually play this game man, when I went to see it. But we've got Czech and goal. Monreal, Koscielny, Rafael Varane's debut. Bellerin, Pogba's debut with Coquelin. Cazorla's is going to play attack in mid with Sanchez and Chamberlain on the wings and Welbeck up front. Hopefully we can smash him and get our first piece of silverware of the year. Just realised this, this is technically Czech's debut as well as it was this year. Um... Obviously, Sanchez. oh, go on, Sanchez. That's the ball to Welbeck. That's the one. Get to that. Go on. Oh. Pogba. Go on then. Start again. Pogba. Nice ball to... Ooh, okay. okay unlucky. Into the attacking third. Chamberlain's on the ball. Chamberlain. Oh, it's almost similar. Well, nothing like the goal he scored at Wembley, but... Almost could have been him scoring again. We're getting a few opportunities now, We're opening up the game a bit. Pogba is doing Rafael doing really well in the midfield there. Santi Cazola. Through ball to Welbeck. Cuts in. Oh, Ref has got to be a foul there. Oh, oh, oh Gokalan! Gokalan has scored! Oh, what an unlikely goal scorer! Lovely, lovely play. Don't know why he was running up from defensive midfield. But Kazola holds it up quite well here, and a little nice knock. And a lovely finish in the end from Gokalan. Gokalan, Arsenal's top scorer of the season. <laughs> so far, he is. Let's go. 45 minute, great time to score. Going to the break, hopefully. Fingers crossed, not long left, with the lead. Half-time, crucial goal there on the 43rd minute. Not a bad, not a bad half at all. They didn't really look like scoring, but we took our chance. What a goal from Pogba. I don't know why my mic was down there, um, but... Look at this start. finish. Cut in. Whoop. Look at that. What a debut. What a start. Pogba's through again. Pogba's through again. Oh. That saved, wasn't it? He's looking threatening. He's defensive mid and he's looking threatening. Up you go. Coquelin. Oh, oh my God! Oh, what a shot that was! If that if that went in, Coquelin is having a game and a half. Oh, how did that go in? Who's that? Who the hell is that? Who on earth is that? 
Is that Bayern Munich Boateng? Look at this goal, man. Oh, come, come on. That's Bayern Munich Boateng, isn't it? Jerome Boateng, yeah. Damn. Interesting signing. Okay, so we've got our substitutes on. We've brought on Iwobi, Ramsey, and Joel Campbell for Chamberlain World. Chamberlain didn't really do anything in this game. Um, Chamberlain Welbeck and cockerland has gone off. Just because I wanted to see the other three players play. Um, but I think the lineup I had, apart from Kazola would not play and Ozil would, would be the starting lineup throughout the season, unless we get any new players, I doubt. Potentially a striker. Well, it played okay though. Um, he did his job, and I think he set up one goal. I'm not. I don't think it counts as an assist for both Pogba. So you never know. Why is Baratang so high up? Oh, it won't be through. It won't be through. Oh, they're going for a last chance attack. No, get out. Get out. Baran. Yes, good boy. Yes. Community Shield is ours. Cockerland and Pogba are two defensive mids. One, that's the game. But we're not complaining. That's what Pogba was signed for. That kind of finish, that kind of performance. Great, great win. First trophy of the season. A lot of people say it doesn't count, but of course it counts. It always counts. If Chelsea would have won it this year, they would have said it counted. Um, so look at that. First game for Czech, Pogba and Varane, first trophy. 